This review examines the issues that uh, could be appropriate topics for an inquiry by the incoming committee in the 57th Parliament and it also puts forward ideas that are prominent amongst uh, road safety experts and amongst the general public for consideration by government. Our state says very conscious uh, of the fact that community takes a close interest in matters of road safety and follows the work of the committee and its reports. Uh, stakeholders regularly bring us ideas, uh, they bring us issues um, by letter, by telephone, by email that relate to road safety. And we were also inspired by the House of Commons Science and Technology Committee. They put out an open call for proposals in 2017. So we called for public submissions in uh, New South Wales in August of this year and uh, we received 34 submissions from individuals, they came from academics, they came from experts in the field, they came from engineers, health professionals, manufacturers, suppliers, insurers, that broad spectrum of uh, stakeholders that take an interest in road safety. We reviewed those submissions against the published criteria and uh, we considered how road safety might be improved by each of those proposals. A stay safe selected two proposals. One was compulsory first aid training for learner drivers and the other community specific road safety campaigning. Now these proposals were seen as worthy of parliamentary scrutiny and, and they're ready to go if the incoming committee wishes to proceed. They were also seen as suitable for the New South Wales government to take forward if it so wishes. We also selected four proposals for further consideration. Uh, funding local roads to reduce fatalities, the needs of older road users, the adequacy of crash investigation and data collection, and finally the impact of heavy vehicle industry working arrangements on road safety. Now in each case the committee felt there was another step to be determined before each inquiry could proceed. Uh, these steps were issues like gathering more information, assessing current progress, determining if stay safe was the best vehicle for the inquiry, or deciding whether the question being proposed might already have been decided. Primarily we wanted to assist the committee in the 57th Parliament by giving them some ideas of uh, issues that were prominent in uh, the stakeholder or the community's uh, viewpoint over all in New South Wales. And we wanted to acknowledge our stakeholders because we were reflecting their views, their concerns. The achievements of Stay Safe since it was first established in 1982 have rested on the passion of our stakeholders for safer roads and their enthusiasm for engaging with us. We wanted to reflect that in the topics that we were able to put forward. <laughs>